Hey guys, um, Tony. I'm here at uh, Webster's Flea Market in uh, Webster, Florida, and this is my uh, game finds of the day. Um, today was a holiday, and uh, with a uh, holiday, they get a lot more vendors coming in. Um, the only problem was I, <laughs> I got up, I slept in a little bit, so I didn't get a lot of good deals, but I got some decent deals and stuff. I know. Um, one of them being what's here right now is a uh, Commodore 64. Uh, I got that for uh, 20 bucks just now. The guy was uh, walking out. He said, "He said just make me an offer." I said 20, and I handed him 20 for it. So, you know, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, let's see what else do I got. What else do I got? This is a uh, oh the other system that I got. I got this for five bucks. Uh, it works. I can't wait to actually come home and test it out, but just. These systems kind of intrigued me, so I picked up um, a phone console. It was originally 10, I knocked it down, asked the guy for five, and I got it for five bucks. So, that's a pretty cool deal. Oh, what else do I got? Oh, yeah. This lot I got for around 70 bucks, but there's a lot of uncommon, not rare titles, but uncommon titles in here. Uh, one of them being Mario's Missing. Joe Mac. Uh, I'll show these last one. Um, juice. I don't have it. Um, Muppet Adventure. I thought that was an interesting thing. Um, Hook. And then uh, these two. I have two other ones of these, but I don't have these two. Um, King of Kings and Spiritual Warfare. I have uh, Journey to Exodus and Bible Adventures. The guy had, he had Menace Beach, but he wanted 150 bucks for it. <sighs> I didn't have enough money to do that. It was, it was good enough that it was hard enough to haggle down this deal for these, this lot of games. But, uh, let's see, other than that, some just some st random stuff that I picked up. I got a, woo, <laughs> a uh, White Ranger poster. Uh, Megacon is coming up in April, and uh, hopefully Jason David Frank confirms, because if he does, I'm going to have him uh, sign this, so I can at least have a signed poster by Jason David Frank. That'd be kind of cool. Um, what else do I get? Oh, okay, these are just a couple of, um, well, one of the things in here is uh, just an obscure toy. Oh, and a couple games. I do have a couple games. Um, there's a Gumby toy. I guess it talks. Or it would. He is better. It was working. But I found this interesting. I'm a, I'm a big Gumby fan. Um, this guy had a lot of Atari games. And when I asked him, <laughs> Game Chasing 101, I asked him if he had any more games. And what he said was, they're all at his store. So basically what I did was he gave me his card. And I'm going to go back and forth with him and maybe find some more uncommon titles. Because he was he's not he said he doesn't do eBay prices. I mean, he knows he says he has a couple of uncommon ones. But he's not gonna he's not gonna sell them off for expensive. But uh, these were all for a buck piece. I got um, Spider Fighter, um, Duro. Some of these I just got just because they were interesting names. Uh, Atlantis, Yars, <laughs> Yars Revenge. Towering Inferno. Uh, he was selling them off for a buck a piece, so I just grabbed a, a pile of them. There's also a DVD and a CD in here, uh, which I pick up those stuff too when I go here. If they get them for cheap, one of them is uh, back over here. Uh, last bit is in my bag, so excuse me for opening this thing up. Um, I'm gonna pull a Metal Jesus here and show you guys the records I got. Um, Rush 2112. Uh, well, it's starting to get hard to find, especially down here in Florida. Uh, the guy was really kind of adamant of even just selling it to me. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, he was asking for 20 for this, and I got the lot for about 35 So he knocked down a couple prices for that. Rush 2112 is Rush, moving pictures. And I'm just, if you haven't noticed, I'm a Rush fan. And I want to own a lot of the vinyls for Rush. So to have these is really cool in my collection. Um, last one. Mainly just because I like it. Uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Good album. I'm really looking forward to listening to it. Uh, the last bit in here. Oh, this is another game. 
uh, these last bits in here are just um, obscure stuff. Like I said, I got up late and showed up late, and a lot of the guys that were around today were really just resellers. There wasn't really anybody besides the Atari guy that was really just fire selling. You know, three bucks a piece or you know a dollar a piece. Everybody knew what they had. Same thing with this guy. I went to this guy and he had, I think, Final Fantasy VIII and IX. And I asked him how much, and I think he wanted 40 bucks for it. And I said, can you do any better, man? Take 24. And he said, no, 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 no. He just was not having any of that shit. But uh, I picked up for 10 bucks. I picked up uh, Wing Commander. It's complete. That was the cool thing about it. It's still got all the menus and uh, both discs in here. Um, huge Mark, Mark Hamill fan. And, I was, you know, I want to try, try this game out. Uh, the last one, this lady had a bunch of toys sitting out. She had some that were in box that she knew the prices of. One of them being like one of those Darth Vader toy holders. Like, uh, um, if any of you guys watch the game Chasers, Jay found one in a, in a dumpster, you know, completely intact. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. This get this woman wanted, I think, a hundred bucks for hers. But she had on a tarp, she was selling stuff for, I think, five bucks a piece. And I'm not a big fan of these shows. I never watched these shows growing up because, I mean, these are all indies. But uh, just to see them and pick them up was really kind of cool. Um, if anybody could tell me, I know this is He-Man. Um, if anybody could tell me his name, that would be great. I picked him up for five bucks. Um, uh, well, I know Skeletor. I got Skeletor for five bucks. And non-He-Man, <laughs> I just showed it, Mumra from uh, Thundercats. Uh, obviously, he is missing his little top piece, but that's still cool to have, and I think, yeah, he still works. His arms still flail when you press the back. So, that is about it, guys. Um, again, it was an alright day today. Not really the best. It was actually just kind of nice to get out and walk around. But, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys uh, think I got screwed on any of these deals. You know, I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, um, hopefully I can do a little bit more. I'm trying to go maybe once a month to this place because, you know, money's kind of tight. And this is the only real flea market out here that I consider. There's a couple, but they don't have what I'm looking for. You know, they're, this is Florida. All the flea, most of the flea markets down here sell, fire sell like Disney and universal stuff and those stupid t-shirts that say, uh, you know, drunk one or something like that, all that fucking bullshit. So, you know, it's hard, it's nice to find one that's just a bunch of, you know, regular people just selling just regular stuff and you can get it for decent prices. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, if you watch this, thank you for watching it. I appreciate it. Uh, I guess like, comment, and subscribe. I will try and do more. I'm doing this on a fucking iPhone, so hopefully I can do more. Maybe you guys can hear me. I don't know. I put this <laughs> look in the air conditioner. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can hear it. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.